when you abuse free will, you can change your destiny. You can change your story. You can change the will that God has designed for your life, as you've seen a couple times in the Bible. So God has a will for your life, a plan for your life and your destiny. But when you abuse your free will, you can change your destiny and you can change your story. And why do I say that? Because, okay, God, every day you have a choice whether you're going to do good or you're going to do evil. That choice is yours. God doesn't force you and say, be good. And he doesn't force you and say, do evil. He gives you the choice whether you're going to make the decision to do good and follow him, the light, which is Christ, or you're going to do evil and follow darkness and evil and witchcraft and things of things that delight him not. Satan, okay? All right. Now, when you abuse your free will, you can change the order and plan of your life. Because, look, even we can go as, bar, as far back as when Satan fell. When God made Satan, he made him a good angel. Satan got envious against God. And he wanted to be the, the most high God. And he wanted people to praise him. So was that God's intention? That No, that was Satan's free will. His own pride in his heart and wickedness. Why he wanted to be like the Holy Father. He changed the design that God wanted his first creation. Now let's go to Judah. When he met that harlot in the town. And he slept with her. He changed. That was his free will. Did God ordain that for him? Was that his ordained spouse? No. Now, when God sent Isaac, no, let me say Israel, Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, to Laban, and he went and he fell in love with Rachel. Did he know he was going to get Leah? But yet still, God still blessed them because his destiny was diverted and changed. Do you understand these things? People, look at Saul with David. God anointed him to be the king of Israel. And he was the king of Israel. And what did he do? What did he do? He wanted to go talk to a witch of Endor. And what did God do? God dethroned him. So his own free will changed God's destiny and plan for him. And then God said, I'm going to take my servant David, a man of my own heart. And what did he do? He anointed him to be the king of Israel. So now let's talk about King David. When he was there watching Bathsheba bathe on the watching Bathsheba bathe and he lusted after her with the lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, and the pride of life, what happened next to David? Huh? He slept with her, he sinned, and he lost his throne. He lost his glory. And that song, Hallelujah, tells you all about it. And if you read the Bible, you'll know. And then you read Psalms, he went into lots of fasting and prayed to ask forgiveness for what he did. And not only that, God punished him by killing his firstborn with Bathsheba, the child that they had in fornication. So there you go. You can change the will and destiny of your life. And what did God say? David is a bloody man. He do he kill a lot. So he can't make his house for him made of hands. He said he's going to make his son, King Solomon, do it. And that is how the order went. Do you see the things that we do can abuse your free will? The abuse of free will can change your destiny and it can hurt you in the long run. Now, how loving is the Father towards us? Because even when we make those silly mistakes, He still says, okay, I'm going to change your story again. I'm going to make it better. I'm going to make it better when you repent to Him. How much, look how much God loves you. And that is real love. He never forced you. Look at God's great power. Look at his great might and he never said, I'm going to make my creation love me. Because God knows that love is an action word. And what did he say? He, he gave you the free will, whether you were going to love him or not. He wanted to know if your love was going to be true. Because he's the God of truth. So he knows if you love him for real. Or if you repent when you think things aren't, when you think he's about to punish you. Or when he's punishing you, that's the only time you remember him to repent. Oh, he knows it quite well. He knows it all. He knows what you're going to say to him before he say it. He knows what you're thinking. So these are things that people really need to understand. Even God has his great might and power. He never forced his creation to love him. 
he didn't. Just like you shouldn't force somebody to love you. But that is what a lot of you people do. And it's not love. It's enchantment. It's bewitchment. It's enticement. It's allurement. It's control. It's dominance. We spoke about this. But what I'm telling you, look how much God loves you. He shows it and he proves it every single day that he loves you. And I, I, um, I do have a part two to love your wife as yourself. It just it's given me a hard time uploading. But the father wanted me to talk to you guys about the abuse of free will. Because every day people abuse their free will for nothing at all. You have the choice to do good, do evil, do good. So blessings will follow you. Do evil, curses follow you. That is how it goes. You can't change the order of God. And just because God hasn't punished you swiftly doesn't mean that your punishment's not coming because he punishes you according to the measure that you meet. So the same measure that you share out to somebody to hurt them is the same measure.